This season, Rafa Cabrera Bayo has posted his best results in the majors. The talented Spaniard finished just outside the top 20 in both the Open and US PGA Championships. While Muirfield and Oak Hill couldn't be more contrasting in the challenge they pose, this year, Bayo's game stood firm. A completely different game, pretty much, going from, from such an extreme uh, Lynx golf course, uh, playing in extreme Lynx conditions, to, to uh, I mean, a beautiful parkland where uh, everything was, was much softer and the rough was uh, very, very high, so you needed to adapt, but fortunately we've played on both situations many, many times, so I mean, I knew what I had to do, and those weeks in the middle, I, I practiced on courses that were more similar to to what, what I was going to have in, in Oak Hill, so that definitely helped. At Muirfield and Oak Hill, Bayo shot leading first round scores in the 60s. Despite dropping back over the weekend in both tournaments, the Spaniard is still encouraged by his strong showing, especially his resilience for tied 21st at the British Open, a good 60 places higher than his previous best. One of the things that uh, I really wanted to improve uh, on last year was uh, how I played on the bigger, bigger events. Uh, and this year, I mean, I've, I've played less of them, but uh, I am definitely happy of how, how both of them have gone. Uh, contending up there at some stage on both of them, so that was a really, really nice experience. Obviously, I gained a lot from it. Would have, of course, wanted to finish uh, higher than what I end up finishing, but overall I got my best performance in a major at the Open and I, 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 I felt I've played uh, two good majors, yes. Off the back of an impressive 2012 campaign which saw him get into the world top 60, claim his second tour title at the Dubai Desert Classic, finish semi-finalist in the world match play as well as a host of top fives, so far his 2013 campaign is yet to really get going in comparison. I've just lacked the, those uh, really, really good finishes that I had last year and that I think that has made the difference uh, uh, between comparing last year to this year. But I also think there is a lot of tournaments uh, still to go and that uh, anything can happen and hopefully I can turn this into my best year instead of uh, having to uh, step back a little from last year. Yeah. A round of 60, 20 under par, Rafa wins it by one. It was four years ago now that Bayo shot that inspired final round 60 to win in Austria to announce his talent. With Ryder Cup qualification underway for next year's clash, Rafa is right to have one eye on a place at Glen Eagles, especially as he had a shot at making it to Medina. Well, I mean, uh, really, Ryder Cup is it's a dream, no? I mean, I, I had only uh, seen, seen or looked at it as a dream pretty much till the till last year up to the, well, pretty much a year ago where I felt I was contending uh, up to the last minutes. A dark horse, Bayo has the talent and could easily get on a hot streak in the next 12 months to force himself into the running and into Paul McGinley's plans. Uh, having been so close uh, last year, I, I definitely think it's a it's a doable uh, dream now. But I I am aware that it is a very very tough thing to accomplish. I mean, uh, everyone wants wants to be there. I mean, the best best players in in Europe, who many of them are the best best players in the world as well, definitely want to be there. So I mean, I just I just plus a whole bunch of new youngsters that I also think that some of them are going to make the team. So. It's going to be very, very tight um, and I, I need to play my, my best, best golf just to, to see if I can get a chance. Yeah?